Returning overseas Filipino workers who have been fully vaccinated against COVID-19 are now entitled to a shorter quarantine stay in a facility or hotel. The former 40-day period protocol, which was reduced to 10 days, eventually becomes 7 days only if an OFW can get a negative RT-PCR test result during his or her fifth day of stay. However, returning OFWs must first have their vaccination card or certificate validated by the Philippine Overseas Labor Office or POLO so that they can qualify for the shortened quarantine period. This was confirmed by Labor Secretary Silvestro Bello III in a forum on Wednesday. Bello said OFWs that have completed their vaccination can sign up online to the One Health Pass website. Fully vaccinated OFWs need to upload their proof of vaccination, valid travel document, and verified employment contract so that the polos in their host country can validate their inoculation. The Bureau of Quarantine will then issue the Polo Verified Certification of Full Vaccination to the returning OFWs upon their arrival in the country. The protocol is only applicable to returning OFWs who have completed their COVID-19 vaccination abroad and have stayed exclusively within the 57 green countries or low-risk ones. Magandang development din sa decision ng ating interagency task force dahil dati kahit nabakunado ka, dadaan ka nun sa 10-day quarantine. Ngayon, iba na. Ngayon, seven days na lang. Pagdating mo, after ma-quarantine ka, five days, mapapapaan ka na. Masuswab ka na. And after lumabas at negative ka, pwede ka nang pumunta sa final destination mo. So, na-lesson by three days ang quarantine period. Eh, malaking bagay yan. Malaking bagay sa OA, dahil mabawasan yung gastos ng hotel, quarantine, food, medicine, and to the... OFW, ang laking bagay yan sa emotional burden nila. But for OFWs like Mary Joy, an HR manager in the UAE, the seven-day quarantine is still a long wait for people who had to be away from their families for quite some time. She is hoping that the IATF can give OFWs like her the kindest consideration they deserve, which for her means implementing a testing upon arrival protocol for fully vaccinated balikbayans like her. Sana po, parang i-consider na lang kami mga OFW na meron namang app dito sa ibang bansa tulad dito sa UAE. May tinatawag na Alusane app. Makikita naman doon talagang uh, vaccinated kami. So pagdating dyan, after ng PCR na swab, pag nakita po na negative, sana hindi na lang po kami i-quarantine. Dahil uh, bago po umalis dito from UAE, Nakapakita naman po na para nag-PCR kami, negative, in a matter of how many hours lang naman sa, sa aeroplano. So hindi naman po siguro kami agad mahahawa kung meron man. Hindi naman makakalabas ng UAE kung hindi ka naman po negative. So pagdating dyan, we do understand na kailangan mag-PCR pero sana po pag may result na negative, diretso na lang po sa bahay or home quarantine na lang po. Bawas pa po, dagdag, uh, bawas pa po sa gastos ng government. However, Mary Joy's appeal might not happen anytime soon since the UAE is part of the list of countries included in the Philippine government's travel ban. Meanwhile, Bello said he has not yet received any reports about OFWs showing fake vaccine cards. The Labor Secretary warned that those who could attempt to do so will face serious charges. For News 5, Fate Del Mundo, we are One News.